This is, it looks intimidating, okay? But note, the, the most intimidating part of this is something they're giving us for free, right? It's like, don't approve this. You're gonna use this in a second. It looks terrible, but that's why I'm trying to save you the work, okay? So they give you this identity, and then they say, okay, here's what I want you to prove, okay? So just put the identity to one side for a second. I don't understand it yet. Let's look at where we're headed. 4n, c, 2n. What's that? That was the answer to part one, wasn't it? Right? Good morning. In other words, it's the coefficient of x to the 2n in this thing. Okay? But one of the first things you told me before I even started doing this question is that since this and this, are, these, are the, these two are the same, right? So that's the coefficient of x to the 2n in part one. I am guessing this is how you get the coefficient of x to the 2n in part two, because they're the same thing, just viewed from two different angles. Does that make sense? Okay, so far so good. So I have to tease out the coefficient of x to the 2n in here, and it looks a bit disastrous, does it not? Okay, and that's why they give you part three. So pause for a moment. Before we look at part three, look at part two and see what it's actually telling you, okay? Sigma notation, it's all about saving time. It's all about saving time. This is saying, look, there's a whole bunch of things you need to add up. Right? There's a whole bunch of things you need to add up. And then when you consider, like, let's just, don't write this down, but just consider it with me. Let's think about one of those things you need to add up. Just one of them, okay? So for instance, um, let's pick a value like, say, k equals 1. Um, I'm choosing it because k equals 0 is too simple for me. You'll see why in a second. The k equals 1 term looks like this. Uh, 2nc1, x to the 2n minus 1, x plus 2 to the power of 2n. Minus one. Does that make sense? Have I done the substitution right? Yeah. Now this is just one of the 2n plus 1 terms that's going to come out of this, right? So this is telling me, hey, you're going to have a whole bunch of these to add up. But look at this guy. Look at this guy. This thing itself is also, once you expand, like this is a, this is a big long term, right? Once you expand that whole thing out, it's going to have a buttload of terms in it, right? So you're adding up, like you've got a series of a bunch of series, okay? So this is a, that's, that's why sigma notation is used because it's just too much to actually try and write the whole thing out, okay? So have a look at this for me, just this one, okay? Do you see in here, one of these terms in the big long expansion is gonna have the power x to the 2n. Do you notice that? Uh, one of them must, right? Out of a big long list of them, one of them eventually will. This guy, will combine with the powers of this using your index laws, and eventually one of them will have a power of x to the 2n. Yes? So I need to find which one it is, okay? I need to look in every single one of these and find the x to the 2n, and the next x to the 2n, and the next x to the 2n, right? So helpfully, they say, well, you know what? This thing, I don't expect you to expand it. That's why I've expanded it for you. Do you see why they've given you this identity, okay? Because that's a, that's a disaster, right? So, do you see the trajectory I'm trying to go through now? Because we're about to start doing this question. We identified this, we said, Hoo! that's the answer to part one. It's a particular coefficient in this thing. But these things are the same. So if it's a particular coefficient in here, I need to find where all those coefficients come in here, and that should be this, fingers crossed, okay? All right, so now that you've got an idea of where we're gonna go, let's try to solve this thing. Let's try to show it. <coughs> okay, so yes? <laughs> but then like in here, just say that this term, there's no sum. Say that again? Like, for the part here, it only shows this part is equals to... Yes, 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 that's okay, that's all right. Let's start doing the working and you'll see. I know that was, a, that was a confusing part of it for me too when I was trying to solve this question. When I get to that point in the proof, I'll try and address that, okay? All right, so the first thing I need to do is a lot of the stuff we said informally, I'd better put it down, right? We can't just assume, oh, they'll, they'll get it, right? So for part three, the first thing I'll say is note that, okay? You've got equivalents between the things, the results you're looking at in part one and part two, okay? So I'm gonna say, note that one plus x to the four n is equal to one 
plus x squared to the power of 2n. Right, I'm just using the index laws there. And that is 1 plus x squared. I'm just writing it in the unusual order they presented it to me in part 2. Okay, so I've shown that that's equivalent. You could have done it in reverse if you'd liked. So therefore, since part 1, from part 1, The coefficient of x to the 2n in 1 plus x to the 4n is this. Okay. Therefore, it's also the coefficient of the same power of x in this other way of writing the same uh, binomial expansion, okay? Just, it looks a little bit messier, but it's gonna be helpful for us in a second, okay? So we've got those two. I've, um, I've invoked part one and part two as well. So now what's left is to use what's in part three, okay? So I'm gonna write down the results so that I can actually use it. Um, from part three, from the identity provided, Uh, this thing here, just this part, and this is important to know, maybe if you have another colour for yourself you want to underline it. This part here, they tell us what the expansion is, okay? So, I'm going to say that actual expansion, x to the 2, okay, x plus 2, okay? Now, for reasons that will become clear in a second, when you have a look, can, can you have a look at the um, actual identity they give you in part 3? They give you something a bit unusual, I suppose they're trying to save some space. Um, they give you a zero term, 2n minus k, c0. They give you a one term, 2n minus k, c1. And then they skip a few and they get you to the nth, sorry, the kth term, okay? I actually want to make an argument about a series of things in a second. So I'm not going to just do the first, second, and then skip to the general one. I'm going to do the first, second, and third terms because then I can have a pattern established, okay? So first I'm just going to write out what they've given me, but I'm going to add an extra term in there, okay? I think I'm going to need a new line, so it's going to look like this. Minus one, right? Yep, minus one. Yeah. Okay, here is where I'm going to pause for a second. So, I started to write out what they've given me, right? And now I'm trying to put down a term that they have not provided for me. So what I need to do is understand what is going on in this pattern in order to be able to generalize it to the next one, okay? Have a look at what is happening as I progress. Yeah, have I missed something? It's x to the 2n minus k plus 1. Oh, sorry. Okay. Of course it is. So when I have a look at this, yeah? 2n minus k plus 1? Yeah? Yeah. Because it's actually minus k minus 1. That's why. Um, when you have a look at this, what is happening as I increment up each time? Okay? So I've done the easy part. I see this has gone 0, 1, 2. That's okay. What happens to the power of 2? It drops down by 1. Do you see that? Uh, sorry, that should be a 2. It went from 2n minus k to 2n minus k minus 1. So the next one should be 2n minus k minus 2. So it's reduced. Conversely, what's happened to the power of x? It has gone from 2n minus k to 2n minus k plus 1. So it's going up while this one's going down. That makes sense. That's what binomials do. Okay. So I'm going to write that out. 2n minus k plus 2. Okay, now I've got three terms. Now I'm ready to dot, 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 generalize. So you can see they've provided us the last, or the, yeah, the last term in their series. So it's like this. <clears throat> Make sure I get it right this time. Okay. 